Hello chemists and welcome to Bale's Chemistry. In this two minute Tuesday, we're gonna be looking at percentage yield. This is another common calculation which is very useful for the chemist and can appear on any one of your assessments. Percentage yield is a way of comparing how much product you made when carrying out a chemical reaction with how much product you should have been able to make. It's important because processes that have a higher chemical yield can often be better economically. And also when working at the lab, the percentage yield that you achieve can show how successful you've been and how good a chemist you were. Chemical reactions don't result in 100% yield. This is most often because the reactions are reversible and form equilibriums, so not all the reactants form products. But we also have human error in the process and when we lose reactants when transferring between different vessels. There are two measurements of yield we need when calculating percentage yield. The first is theoretical yield. This is how much you can make based on the calculation from the reacting ratios or stoichiometry of the chemical equation. And the second is the actual yield. This is the measurement of how much you actually made from your chemical reaction. So we use this equation to calculate percentage yield. Actual yield divided by theoretical yield multiplied by 100. Now the yields can either be in grams or moles as long as they are both in the same unit. A very simple example is shown here and has a theoretical yield of 4.56 moles and an actual yield of 3.8 moles. This gives a percentage yield of 83.3%. More complicated examples of percentage yield, like the one here, are much more common. First you'd have to calculate the theoretical yield before comparing that to the amount of product produced. In this example we'll calculate the moles of sodium thiosulfate which can then be used to calculate the theoretical yield of sulfur dioxide using the reaction stoichiometry or ratios. Once this is calculated, we can then go on to calculate the percentage yield as before. Thanks chemists for watching this 2 Minute Tuesday. Find more of our 2 Minute Tuesdays up here and don't forget to click below to subscribe.